hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're coming across this channel for the first time my name is florence and this is story tv the story that i have today is that of this man and it's a very pathetic story i think it is foolish to fight over someone who is in a relationship with you somebody else is dating your girlfriend or your girlfriend is flirting with a man and i say let me go and fight the man or your wife is dating another man and i say let me fight the man or it is your husband or your boyfriend and i said let me go and fight it's absolute foolishness to me because the other person might not even know of the other relationship might be that they lied to them that they are not in any kind of relationship which some people have come up to confess that this man is dating me that that this man is going out with me but he did not tell me that he is having another person you know it is possible that's why i say it's foolish for someone for you to catch someone with your wife or your husband or your boyfriend girlfriend and you say let me go and fight them it is foolish you know so the story that i have today is about this man this young man he should be in his 30s or not even up to 30s he should be in his 20s and now right now as i'm talking to you he is gone because he went to fight someone who is in a relationship with his uh, uh, girlfriend though not even fiance not even wife girlfriend eh? and this girlfriend goes to the gym it happened that at the gym the girlfriend started dating the gym instructor when the young man found out he now went to the gym and started fighting the gym instructor without even considering the fact that the gym instructor is a model builder if you look at all gym instructors, they look masculine. He went to the gym and fought the gym instructor. Now, the gym instructor gave him the beating of his life, which landed him in the hospital. Now, at the hospital, two weeks, he stayed for two weeks at the hospital and then joined his ancestors. Yeah. Me, I have this to say, well, as long as you're not married to her, even if you're married to her, even if you're married to her, you have no right. You have no right to fight over her. I'm not saying, let me not say right. You have no business fighting over her. Once she has started seeing other men, it means that she has gone, no, like, she's not into you anymore. She's not committed to you anymore. I mean, emotionally. Yes, she has, she has, no, she is no longer committed to you emotionally. So the fight is a fight of shame like the fight is the fight of shame like how would i put it like if you fight that fight you are just shaming yourself like the person you are fighting for or over is no longer with you emotionally she has gone because that's one thing you people don't understand that's one thing men don't understand about women who are cheating once a woman has started cheating she is no longer in love with you one she is no longer emotionally connected to you, emotionally connected with you. Because a woman who is emotionally connected with you can never cheat on you. Never. No matter what. Once they are in love with you, they can never cheat on you. Never. Except if somebody tries to, you know, force them to do that. You understand? Or maybe they are in a situation whereby it's a do or die thing. And now they have to do it. So why fight over someone who is no longer committed to you like who has emotionally left you you know to be with another person and another thing is this once that person that they are with now is the one that they are emotionally connected with they might still stay around you to collect some money from you maybe the maybe the other person doesn't have money and you have money they might still stay around you for the money but the other person is the one that they are really into like <laughs> so this of no use when you catch your wife, especially I'm talking about wife because men, men, women, once they start cheating, they have started cheating. They are emotionally connected to the person that cheated. If you leave them, if you cheat them, it doesn't bother them because they are not, they are no longer emotionally connected with you. They are emotionally connected, uh, they are emotionally connected to the other person. You understand? So, <laughs> there's no point fighting. A fight of shame or a fight of foolishness 
And another point I want to make is this. As long as you're not married to her, as long as you're not, uh, you have not come to her father, mother, and uh, her parents, and they did a kind of uh, commit something, like, uh, you know, uh, approach the parents. As long as you have not approached the parents and say, uh, this is, I want to marry your daughter. And as long as you have not engaged the person, you have no business, like that person doesn't belong to you. That person does not belong to you. And I still have to say that nobody owns anybody on this world. On this planet Earth, nobody owns anybody. You don't own me. I don't own you. None of us own each other. We are all individuals on our own. And we are bound to fail. And we are bound to end any relationship at any time. That beautiful relationship that you are having right now, the person might come up the next minute and say, I don't want to do anymore. You can't force them to say there. You cannot force them to say there. So that's why I'm saying that no matter who you are dating or who you are married to, no matter who you are dating or who you are married to, just know that it can end at any time. So always prepare yourself for the worst. Always prepare yourself for the worst and learn to move on without uh, even doing anything. Just learn to move on. Learn to move on. Yeah. Do not go into any relationship with anybody with your full chest just be there but always know that <laughs> anything can happen at any time so my dear people so be careful be careful out there my dear people so my dear this is what i said let me share with you today i don't know what to think about this but whatever you think leave your comments in the comment section thank you so much for coming this far with me in case you have not subscribed to my channel can they do so now click on the icon so that you can easily access my upcoming post like and share this video. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.